Hello and welcome to Checkpoint on Campus. I'm your host, Jacob Brothers, and joined with me, as always, is Erica Sedora. Erica, how are you today? Fantastic. How are you today? I'm doing great because this story can make you say, Nani, because Crunchyroll, <laughs> I had to get it in there, Crunchyroll is getting involved with collegiate esports. Uh, it's, it's the first time that they're dipping into this field, and it's an interesting company to do it. Um, which is why I did actually say that when I read this article. Um, so they're going to be partnering with St. Clair Saints, which is the first uh, varsity esports program in Canada. And so this was confirmed a week ago. And the main part of the partnership is that their logo is going to be shown on the Saints 2021-2022 jerseys throughout the season. So what are your immediate thoughts when you hear something like this? I'm kind of jealous because if I had Crunchyroll sponsoring me or, you know, backing my team up, I have tremendous merch power now imagine all of the merch you're gonna get and imagine all of the benefits you get from Crunchyroll from both sides I mean Crunchyroll is huge like everyone knows Crunchyroll mm -hmm. it's the best streaming service for anime no promotion included I'm just I'm just saying how I feel I love that I love that site I'm excited for them I'm hyped what do you think well, I'm more of a Funimation boy because of the dub no I'm kidding uh the logo does look great and I think it will look really great on that jersey but what was kind of more interesting to me about this whole thing is because uh, the director of St. Clair College was saying that this is going to be a really way, to, a really easy way to bridge the gap between the anime club and the esports club. And that kind of got me thinking of if you're trying to grow your program uh, within your school, I feel like the easiest way to do that would be to involve the other clubs of your school. So that's the next thing I want to talk about is what clubs do you think could fit that? Because when I thought about it, my my immediate thought was chess. You know, because there's always a chess club. God bless them. I think so. And chess is really big nowadays on Twitch as far as the electronic form goes. And so if they're like, hey, we're going to do a little chess tournament in our esports area. And the chess club can come over and see if they're better than us. And then say like the next event, you're like, okay, here's auto chess, which is obviously plays very different. But it still applies loosely to both clubs, if you get right. what I'm saying. Right, right. Uh, first, I want to say that's a really good marketing strategy. I'm not, a, I'm, you know... Disclosure, I'm not, um, I don't do marketing stuff, but I think that's really smart to include other clubs, especially if it's an anime club, which similarly from my experience, from everyone's experience, if you watch anime, you also inherently play games. That if is true. This, <laughs> you also probably play other games. So I think it's a really good way to leeway people who aren't totally committed into esports and see like, hey, this isn't just about competition. This is about friendship and communication and teamwork it's not just about winning it's about growing your skills and having fun so any other team that has video games involved or has a vague competitive side i think that would be a really good match with the varsity team i mean unless you have anything else to add on that one i mean whatever like whatever what other team what other club i mean what other club um i kind of think uh well similar to anime i think movies would work as well but Another part of another part of the story was that Crunchyroll has nothing to do with gaming, even though it does apply to both of those audiences. They don't I mean, they do make video games, but esports is not really their thing. And so I'm curious if now we're going to start seeing more non gaming companies or non technology companies start to pop up in collegiate esports. That's kind of the next step, because also not many jerseys have a logo on them of a different company. And so for a Canadian varsity college for that to be the first step. I think that's going to be the sign of a of a very great future for collegiate esports because I want to see Maryville with freaking Wish or you know <laughs> yeah. Target. Um, what's interesting. What's interesting for me is that I have never heard before this one um, a non video game um, company sponsor a video game or you know teams, especially a collegiate team. I would have thought that they would have reached out to like bigger teams, more like professional teams. But I'm glad that they started in collegiate and, you know, it'll grow into something bigger. Yeah, the ceiling will only get higher, right? right. But yeah, so going forward, Crunchyroll, St. Clair, 2021-2022 uh, season. We wish the best of luck to that school. And hopefully we see more of these partnerships in the future.